Um, I'm gonna set my uh, my hunting trap here. Prevent getting attacked from behind. There's your hunter trap. You look into the next room. A shallow set of stairs leads up. Beyond that, you, this thing right here that what you're seeing is a um, like a portcullis. It's a metal grate uh, instead of a door. It covers the doorway. You see over here a little bit of the um, cavern wall has broken off, and otherwise it's a blank wall ahead of you. It is quiet ahead. A uh, thick layer of dust covers everything. Perception, you rolled a 10 and you don't see any tracks. Okay, so can I check uh, for traps? Okay. Yes, that is investigate or perception, your choice. Uh, Morgren, using your stone cunning, uh, you look around for more traps. Nothing stands out trap-wise, but uh, you and uh, Rowan scraped and no made a noise, something happened. Ravel was approaching very quietly, but suddenly you hear from the west a lot of squeaking noises as a swarm of bats comes descending out of the ceiling and towards you. Scared by the noise, roll initiative. Here come the bats. Morgren, you're first. Go ahead. Let's try some La Thunder Slide. I like it. You killed four bats. Then I move in melee and finish my tour. My mistake, you actually killed uh, eight bats with that. The swarms only have resistance to uh, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. You dealt radiant damage, so it's full damage. Yeah. Okay, and here come the rest of the bats towards you, biting you as they pass. Oh, nasty. You guys see Morgan pretty much get engulfed by the entire swarm as it goes by, and they are looking to exit the cave, so they provoke opportunity attacks from all three of you, but... Not before really uh, kind of putting a lot of puncture holes in Morgren. 10 damage, he dealt 5. He killed 5 bats. And Ravel, Ravel missed, and Rowan missed. Being careful not to hit Morgren, probably. Rowan, you take a swipe and your sword whistles through the bats, not finding any of them. Ravel, go ahead. I put my arm, which is covered in a uh, violet fire, and unleash a blast. Unfortunately, that's a miss. Rowan, go ahead. Killed 6 bats. Only uh, 3 remain. Ravel. Um, that will hit. You guys see that crackling energy arc out of Ra Ravel's arm, slam into the remaining bats, and they flutter to the ground dead. Okay. You guys can move around freely. That's the end of combat. They were just rats with wings, by the way. So. Ravel, you see through a crack in the wall there where it's broken down. Um, it looks like something is standing just inside, but you're having a difficult time seeing what it is. So uh, I can I can now move uh, half my speed uh, before rolling stealth again, right? If I want to keep. Oh it yes, yeah, with your stealth, yes. All right, Ravel, you're able to see a skeletal warrior standing at attention against the wall. It does not seem its uh, eye sockets are dark. It does not move. It's just standing there. It looks like an old old warrior at attention, died in place. All right, you whack at one. Uh, they are vulnerable to bludgeoning, which means you nearly crackle it to bits. And it animates, of course. Its blank eye sockets have a, a red light slowly glowing until they become burning red embers and they move to attack. I stumble back as its eyes glow red. You see Ravel backpedaling into the chamber you are in. He seems to have been attacking something through that broken down part of the wall. Okay, and then... Um, Morgren steps into the room and very easily, again they're vulnerable to bludgeoning, so that was actually 12 damage. And you smash what's left of the skeleton into little bits. All the bones go clattering to the floor. Okay, that was evil. Ominously, you guys can hear from further inside the chambers kind of a rasping breath and the pop and click of bones talking about skyrim but you remember the draugr it's like that yeah <laughs> white walk so morgan you still have a little movement left if you want to use it and you are still in initiative because you can hear further threats moving okay uh, this direction so here and uh, and my turn Ravel. Alright, you tripped over a part, uh, a loose rock on the floor, or 
clipped your shoulder as you tried to shimmy into that very narrow opening and anyway got uh, tangled up with your quarterstaff. But the butt end comes around, you jam it directly into an eye socket just as it's starting to glow, dealing a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. You crack the skull open, but it's still moving. Okay. Oh, wait, that and was a critical hit. My bad. That kills him. It's critical. And that ends my turn. All right, the skeletons finally get a turn, rasping its, uh, you know, an old ancient breath out of its rattling rib cage, and lurches forward with a short sword to try and stab Ravel, and does so, skewers him badly. And that's not the only one. Another one approaches from this side. They are now flanking Ravel. Uh, unintentionally, just worked out that way, but he has advantage for flanking, which also hits and skewers him uh, from the other side. Ravel has taken quite a lot of damage, but he's still on his feet. Rowan, go ahead. I'm totally unaware of the situation, so I'm gonna yell at my party, what's going on up there? I'm <laughs> trying to find my way through it. You can see the back of a skeleton here as he pulls a bloodied, rusted short sword out of the body of Ravel here. And is getting ready to stab him again. Um, yeah. I moved 25 feet, that's within my speed, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a hit at him. Uh, yeah. you definitely hit. You see the bones uh, rattle, dust falling from them, uh, but that skeleton is still, the magic binding it is still intact, if only barely. Round two. Skeletons got a back to back. That is not good for Ravel. Let's start on the one in the back. Stab again. That will hit, which I think takes Ravel down. And then this one will turn to engage you, Rowan. Attempt to stab you. It does so. Glancing blow. That's what I meant. And Ravel, go ahead. Ravel is bleeding badly and slips closer to death. Go ahead, Morgren. Okay. She'll take this position and then do a melee attack. A fine hit. You shattered the skeleton and it drops to the floor as a pile of bones and rusted equipment. And I'm done. Rowan. I'm moving here. Push Ravel. Uh, yeah, Ravel to, is. To the back. Uh, let's see. You can stand over him because he's currently prone and bleeding out. Uh, and take a hit. It does not. The scraps of armor have deflected your blow. Um, then I'm using the rest of my movement. I moved 10 feet. Move another 10 feet here. Good thinking. Round three. Ravel. Oh. Death save. All right. Oh. Ravel sucks in a breath and is back among the living with a hit point. Hmm. So the skeleton will uh, ignore, Ravel doesn't know what's happening there, will turn to engage Rowan, attempts to stab you, and does so, impaling you with a rusty short sword. Orgrin, go ahead. Okay. I would go here, and then here. Uh, Q wounds on uh, Ravel. Plus three is 12 again. And then I end my turn. Rowan, you've cleaved the uh, one of the skeleton's arms off and crushed its rib cage, but it's still barely moving. It has one hit point left. Hmm. Round four, Borgren. Okay. Okay. Now it will be a sacred flame. Very good. Dexterity save. Wow, that is a very fast skeleton. Perhaps you were <laughs> aiming for the part that Rowan just cleaved from him. <laughs> Does not hit. Probably. Ravel. From the floor, Ravel sticks the, his uh, quarterstaff through what's left of the uh, skeleton, shattering its spinal cord and the last of the magics binding it together. It falls to the floor, a pile of dust and bones. No further threats at this moment. I again turn to the dwarf. I thank you for saving my life again, Mr. Uh, Master Dwarf. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. Mm. By the way, uh, we had our share of evil. Fine, fine. That's what I came for. Guys, we should recover. Yeah. If you check the rest of these anti-chain, uh, they could provide adequate to rest. Well, does, uh, does the priest have 
some group healing because I'm, I'm looking I'm not looking good either Oh no la thunders uh, <laughs> pretty tired I'm bummed now no more spells from me I would uh, search the skeletons while we were deciding okay defining the dead okay all right so you guys look over the skeleton what's left of them their corpses they are made of uh uh, they, let's see, give me a nature or heal check to know more about them. Any of you can roll that. Um, they had nothing of value. They carried um, rusty short swords and scraps of armor. And you can tell by the, uh, the fine structure of the bones and skull that these were once elves. Mm -hmm. At this discovery, Ravel becomes excited. A any, any value builds on them? They carried nothing of value aside from their equipment. When uh, when Rand discovers that they were elves, he becomes excited and says, uh, "Maybe the legends were more than just children's stories. Fallen elf, fallen elven temple could be a uh, could be the truth." You guys can take a short rest, and that lets you spend your hit die if you want to recover your hit points. Hmm. And uh, we can do it away from here, maybe at the entrance. What a short rest here. is just 10 minutes, right? Uh, it depends on your DM. Um, a short rest for for me, yeah, I would say 10 minutes. I think according to the rules, it's an hour, but it's kind of up to the pace of the party. Mm -hmm. I'd say 10 minutes to catch your breath, bind your wounds, and then you're ready to go again. And what about uh, the spells? I, I would like Unfortunately for clerics, those are your spells for the entire day. Yeah, and would need a long rest. Yeah, correct. I would like to take a short rest. Hmm. Better than nothing. So we're going to take a short rest. Uh, okay, and we can we do it on turns? Just to guard and things like that. We'll only be ten minutes. We should be right. Yeah. I okay. mean, uh, it's it's not like we are sleeping. We're still aware of things. Okay. 